Hi, in any state, one of the important security issues is border protection. Trafficking routes go through many customs checkpoints, fulfilling black markets with drugs, explosives, weapons and people. Russian manufacturers came up with several decisions in border security sphere, and one of them is called the ST2630P. The ST2630P is a portal type cargo inspection system that is developed for the customs control and transport safety during the inspection of vehicles and cargo containers. Portal types are usually used in the seaports or at the vehicle's checkpoints where we are today. This particular cargo inspection system is a modified version of ST2630P. But before going through the upgrades, Let's see what the complex actually does. The ST2630P scans the containers or the vehicles with the cargo inside and divides the materials into four groups by their atomic number. The first group consists of the organic materials. Those are cloth, wood, alcohol, drugs, etc. They are displayed with a red color. The atomic numbers of the elements are within 1 to 10 range. The second group covers the non-organic materials, such as sand, glass, aluminum, salt, for example. They are displayed with green color, 10 to 20 atomic elements number range. The metals are the third group, steel and copper, for example. The display color is blue, while the atomic numbers range is 20 to 50. And the fourth group of material covers heavy metals, Wolfram, lead, platinum, and gold. Those materials are displayed with lilac color, atomic numbers 50 to 100. Apart from that, the complex affords us a function of cargo and its parts weight measurements, which is called the X-weight function. This gives us more parameters for the cargo evaluation. Another useful function is called the Z-recovery. Basically, it recovers the atomic number of the material behind the object of up to 30 cm thickness. The ST2630P is designed in such a way that the radiation dose done through scanning for the driver's cabin is lowered in order for him or her to stay inside during the action. The exploitation of the complex is done by two operators minimum, including the shift supervisor. Those are the image analysis operator and complex system operator. The first one works with the images, combines cargo documentation with what's really inside and comes up with the results of the research. Complex system operator controls the ST2630P, controls the perimeter and restricted area through the video control unit and the scanning procedure of the complex. So how does it work? The vehicle arrives to the cargo inspection system point and stands in front of the barrier. As soon as the green light is on, the barrier turns up and the vehicle drives at the speed of 7 to 15 km per hour through the cargo inspection system. As you may see, the full corridor is being equipped with cameras of the control, which sends the information to the control unit of the operator with one at the bottom of the place to see the bottom of the vehicle and the car moves up to the scanning mechanism. The scanner has a laser lidar pre-installed in it, which as soon as the vehicle starts to pass by, shows the scanner that the lower radiation power should be activated in order not to harm the driver. And the cabin and the cargo itself have a special gap within on most of the vehicles. As soon as the lidar sees this gap, the high radiation power mode is being activated and all the cargo is being scanned by the cargo inspection system. 
The vehicle doesn't stop and after the scanning continues its movement to the customs and the results of the scan go to the control unit. The display operator checks whether the images are of good quality and contain all the necessary information. Then he or she sends them to the analysis operator. Then the analysis is being done based on the images, whether there is anything suspicious. Human or materials which are not mentioned in the transport documents. In case everything is okay, the vehicle goes forward to the country. Otherwise, a detailed check is being done by customs. As we've mentioned at the beginning, this particular complex has several upgraded features in a new modification. What are they? The main advantage is that this portal complex is increased in throughput, up to 120 transport units per hour. At the same time, the driver's cabin is scanned at a lower radiation dose power, enabling him or her to stay at the vehicle. Secondly, the equipment is located at a fast construct building due to the optimized parameters of the radiation safety accelerator. This leads us to the last upgrade, in case there is a necessity that this particular complex can be relocated to a new required place. Reliable, efficient, upgraded, fast construct, relocatable Russian cargo inspection system meets the requirements of customs and border security services. That was it about the modified ST2630P cargo inspection system. See you at the next video.